if this has got gold in it, it's loaded. Oh, wow. Happy days. Welcome back, guys. I'm just getting ready to go out for another metal detect. I found some gold here two days ago. I'm gonna show you this beauty here in a second. And today, of course, I'm going back to that spot. Yesterday, I didn't do anything. My body really needed a rest. Today, I'm taking the quad, should be a lot quicker. I gotta scout a track to get in there. And I'm gonna show you what I found there in that particular spot two days ago. Can you see the gold up in that corner there? That specie was sitting on the surface in a creek, on the bank of a creek. I'm very hopeful. It should be a good spot today. I'm going to go back to where I got this. I also got another nugget on the way back last time. So I should check out that creek as well. It was in a different system. Should be an adventurous day. Let's get the gear ready and head out. I'll put this away. Then, woo, let's go. Well, that was quite an adventurous drive. I didn't quite make it to the spot either. Behind those trees there, there should be the main creek. And I found the big speci 300 meters up. So I'll just detect my way up there. I'm gonna get everything off the bike. I'm gonna mark its position here, so I'll be able to find it again. Where there is one piece of gold, there technically should be more. I didn't have my camera with me yesterday, but I did film everything on my phone here. I might just show you that clip while I'm getting ready here. I haven't found any gold for the last few days. Bit slow going lately. I just had a signal there. Definite signal, absolute screamer. So I kicked that quartz rock out of the road, this one here. Swung the detector again. Nothing there. It took me a while to see it. Definitely gold going around here and through there. I'm running low on water. I'm dressed way too hot too with my long jeans, so I'm not going to waste any water to clean this up. It's just a bit of a worry that I still got a few kilometers to go to get back to the bike. And now I'm also carrying a big heavy rock. How beautiful. You can actually see where it was buried. And I can see little bits of gold up in there as well. Plus that big chunk down there. But yeah, can we agree that I found a massive sunbaker? This part of the rock was all exposed. And wow, that's gonna look beautiful when I clean it up. Oh, wow. Yes, looks like it's attached to this corner here, but also going down this way here and up in there. Awesome, happy days. I do have the pinpointer here as well, so I'm just gonna test if the gold goes through the rock or if it's just in that one spot. Give it a ground balance here. Where was the gold? On this end here. That's where the gold is. Definitely up in here. Oh, but also through here. Interesting. Yeah, it's a big rock this one. Just in there up on the bank. I haven't seen any detector holes at all. Found shallow rubbish as well. That's very interesting. A long, big, wide creek to detect and plenty of side feeders here. That one screamer there and it turned out to be a big sunbaker specie. That's how quickly it can turn around. I'll walk this one here a little bit further downstream before I have to cut across country for, let's say, another kilometer or so to get back to the bike. I've been walking all day. I probably did about 10 kilometers, plus I did about two, maybe three kilometers on the bike. It's definitely good that I've got an awesome spot to come back to. This way is about two to three kilos. Oh. Probably even four kilos. Oh, isn't that a bonus? I just picked up a, a one grammar, I'd say. 
yeah that's close to a gram and it looks like it's a fairly pure nugget there doesn't seem to be any quartz in there but yeah hard to tell at the moment until i clean it up but anyway i got it in the tree roots there i should have been suspicious because yeah there's not much that can uh, slide under tree roots i'm looking for the bike it should be somewhere on that side of the bank back there i haven't found it yet instead i've got another detecting location second piece of gold almost rolled off my hand here awesome nice and water worn in this little creek here I'm running the detector a little bit more sensitive than last time I was here so now I'm running it in normal there was a little bit of rubbish in this creek but not much and I'm gonna dig everything the big speci with the gold attached to it sounded like rubbish too I already had a little scratch in here the signal is still there We've got a rock, but unfortunately it doesn't even look like it's quartz. I'm assuming this is just a hot rock. Let's have a look what it looks like inside. Just a mix of different minerals. No gold to be seen on this one. We'll look for the next target. Another hot rock, same color as the first one. Couldn't find the target at first, then I had a look on my pick. That's just a hot rock, another one. I don't think I'm having much fun here today in normal. It'll pick up all these hot rocks, but I'll persist for a bit longer. I might change my settings later on. I just broke my cable tie that holds my hip stick ripped. And I don't have any spare cable ties, which means I'll have to toughen up and carry the detector without my carrying aid. I just wanted to talk about how I got here. There aren't any tracks in the area. It's quite remote. I just ended up exploring and prospecting different areas in the hope for gold, but after almost a week I was about to give up and uh, try and find a different spot. Luckily just in time I found that one speci and also a nugget in a different system on the way back to the bike so that was quite exciting. Persistence is definitely something you need for gold prospecting or metal detecting in general because you dig up a lot of rubbish, a lot of hot rocks and not many targets turn out to be gold. It's a definite signal, this side of the rock. <laughs> Don't tell me this is quartz. Oh no. I don't think it is quartz. It just looks like those basalt or dolerite rocks in this area. But I never found gold in one of these. So I'm not sure what we're dealing with here. I might have to crack it to see what it looks like inside because at the moment I can't see any gold and I'm certainly not going to carry around a 10 kilo rock if it doesn't contain any gold in it. 
Oh. All through here? Oh. It's going crazy in here. Now I can't get anything on this side. Boah, this rock is heavy. Oh. Are you for real? This rock weighs a ton and I'm not sure if I should get excited here or not. This looks like a dolerite or a basalt and I've never found gold in one of these. I don't know. It's very hard to tell but if this has got gold in it that means it's loaded. So I've been sitting here for a little longer having a closer look at that rock. It probably weighs 10-15 kilos so I'm just gonna drop it onto another rock here. I'll have a look what it looks like inside because if it's not gold then I'm just gonna leave it here obviously. Oh it broke! Well I can't see any gold. This could be maybe antimony shiny silvery stuff this could be antimony not too sure ah but that was the wrong end this one here was the interesting end i'll drop it again no gold yeah, I'm really starting to think this could be antimony. The pinpointer goes off on this brown section of the rock here. I might just knock a piece of that off. I don't know what I'm doing here. Except for bluntening my pick. I managed to get another smaller chip of the big rock here and it's definitely a section with that metal on the top end here so this is small enough for me to carry it back to the camp but yeah very strange could be anything but I'll take this one with me let's look for gold so here's something I didn't notice last time I was here that tree has been chopped down that's not natural how it cracked there. That looks like an axe would have chopped that down. Oh, looks like decomposing bedrock. That gray stuff there could be good. is still somewhere in here just because I don't know what to expect here it could easily be rubbish but just in case I'm just starting to dig a little bit more carefully here oh yes <laughs> it's a nugget Oh wow, I really wasn't sure about this one and I'm glad I dug it carefully. Probably close to a gram. Have a look at this beauty. Oh wow, and you heard it, it was only shallow. Just hidden under that bush there. You don't know what to expect in this creek here. I don't think it's uh, been detected too often in the past. We're on to it again. It's probably about maybe 75 meters up to where I found the first fessie. And now I'm really going to concentrate on this deep section here until I'm all the way back up at the specie spot. Yes, species and nuggets. I'm glad I can finally say nugget again and not sub grammar. This could be a good day. Just on the other side of that bush there is where I filled in the hole. <laughs> of course I detect around this area here now just to see if there are any more targets in this ultimate vicinity just here and now I'm getting something from this side of the bush. Oh 
the signal seems to have disappeared but I've got a few things on my magnet here this here could be a piece of steel I think that's what it is we'll keep looking that's where I found the one grammar that's where the signal is It's a shotgun pellet. Well, I can't see any gold. Oh, it looks like the other half of that little shotgun pellet. Just a piece of seal. Classic example of noisy ground. This could be a gigantic horseshoe. <laughs> That's an old handle of uh, maybe a billy pot. Just a deformed shotgun pellet. Just that. Slowly running out of energy here. Your favorite. Don't worry, I love it too. I can only see little silver particles but just to get a better idea of what we're dealing with here I'm gonna crush up this corner here Got it? Oh, we actually got a few specks of gold in here Very, very fine, very, very small but definitely gold I just don't think it's enough to really wake my interest and carry a 10 kilo rock back to the camp and then crush it up by hand for a few specks. I'm just going to show you another relic which I have found a few days ago. That's an old pocket knife. This would have been sitting there for decades, I'm assuming. There would have had a timber handle around. The handle here. Quite cool. Next up I'm gonna weigh the big speci. Just looking at this rock here the gold is all nice and flat. It didn't just fall off the reef it would have traveled. So my scales go up to 100 grams that's gonna be <laughs> too heavy for that. So I've got luggage scales. I'll just put the speci in this bag here and then we'll weigh it. But I think I've already decided that I would like to crush it up and just get the gold out of it. Oh! Pounds, kilos... Sorry, this is about uh, six and a half pounds, which is about three kilos, if I can read this correctly. Yeah, three kilos. And that's what it felt like in my backpack too. I'm not gonna process it tonight. I'm just looking forward to sitting down and then it'll be time to start cooking dinner. This nugget here is the one that I found after I got that big speci. Prospected a different creek on the way back to the quad and this is where I found this nice nugget here. I was assuming it's about a gram but I think it's actually a bit more because this one here is today's nugget and I'm assuming that's a gram. 
So this one here is a lot thicker, which makes me think it could even go close to two grams. Let's put this one on the scales. I'm guessing close to two grams. Let me know. What do you think how heavy this one is? Ooh, 2.2, 2.3. That's half a gram more than what I expected. But yeah, I'll take it. Now I'm going to put this one here on the scales and I'm going to say one gram. What's your estimate? One point three grammar, yeah, that's all right. When you think that the gold is smaller and it actually turns out uh, heavier than what you expected, I like that a lot better than the other way around. If you want to know how much gold is in this rock, stay tuned. I'll do another video on that. Thanks for tagging along again. Stay safe out there. I'll see you in the next one.